All right, so let's start with the big story that we're tracking on Vyond this morning. The Iraqi parliament has concluded an extraordinary session voting on a resolution that requires the end of the presence of foreign troops on Iraqi soil. Now, the Iraqi prime minister, Adil Abdul Mahdi, has said that Iraq must end foreign troop presence as soon as possible. This after the parliament in Iraq approved a resolution calling for an end to military presence in the country, which includes some 5,000 U.S. troops who are stationed on the ground. Now, the vote comes just two days after a U.S. airstrike killed Iranian General Qasem Soleimani at Baghdad, dramatically increasing the tensions in the region. And in the aftermath of this escalation by the United States, Iran has also declared that it will no longer be abiding by any of the restrictions imposed by the 2015 nuclear deal. Now, the announcement was made after a cabinet meeting in Tehran. This means that Iran will no longer hold itself back in terms of its capacity and levels of enrichment of uranium, as well as the research and development of nuclear technology. So the deal has effectively been dead since it was Donald Trump who in 2018 had walked away from it unilaterally. But Iran has since ratcheted up the pressure. It has been flouting the regulations one by one. And this, of course, has made the United States even more furious. And it has been imposing what is known as the strategy of maximum pressure in a bit to try and pressurize Iran. Now, members of the European Union, France, Germany and Britain, have been trying to try and salvage the deal and have even now urged Tehran to not walk away from the deal completely. Now, it